Generic greetings and welcome to Tiny Lands. Today's beverage is a nice relaxing cup of chamomile tea. Very nice indeed. So Tiny Lands is essentially a spot the difference game with the added feature that we can rotate and zoom the camera. So that will give us a better perspective in order to find the differences on each of the levels. The levels are split over different regions and themes so there's quite a variety there but overall it is mechanically quite simple. Let's just jump in and I'll show you a bit of the game. I've only played about half an hour so certainly a first impressions only but as with a lot of people I've been playing spot the differences since I was a young child so um, yeah I think we I think I'm fairly up on uh, what this sort of game entails either way we can see we've got these different maps here which I've already found all of the differences there so each map has five differences in total and I've got all of the five stars on this one this seems to be quite like a wilderness setting so you've got like some canoes there some trees a log cabin horse pulling a cart some trees with golden leaves in the autumn of the years etc so we're going to go over and look at this one which i've only found two out of the five differences let's just load into here and we can see what it looks like in terms of the overall style and presentation obviously we've got this sort of low poly look with a quite limited um, palette as well but it is quite charming very charming indeed actually and I like all of these sort of particles we have going around these like fireflies and it does uh, emote quite a bit I find anyway we can see we have what appears to be the same picture on the left and right but we know that that is not the case we have to find the differences on the bottom right it shows the differences that we have found so we found zero of five differences and naturally we can rotate and zoom the camera so that's just basically W A S and D to do that so we have to find the differences and and, you know, you may have your own way of finding said differences, moving your head, moving your eyes, whatever, uh, using a grid-based system. Uh, there's loads of ways, but the differences can be, they come in many forms, so it could be uh, their, their placement, their size, their scale, colour, etc. So I've already found one difference, and it's this this flower on the leaf you can see the scale is different so we can click on any side it doesn't really matter and that will highlight that in gold and it will shimmer to indicate that that is one of the differences so I'm just going to keep rotating this around and I think I found another difference and it's in this butterfly here you can see that's like a pink one but that's red so is that right ah it was right but we see when I click there it didn't do anything because I just missed in between. I think I clicked uh, the leaf. By the way, yes, you can brute force approach it like this uh, <laughs> and go through it like that if you do so desire. Um, I tend to find that I personally get very, very frustrated with spot the differences after a while when I can't find like the last couple of differences. And I also imagine that watching this can be quite... Uh, quite a trialing experience if you've spotted a difference and I haven't so by all means pop them in the comments and we can have many a discussion on how I couldn't see anything anyway I'm just looking around obviously your eyes are ten generally drawn towards certain features so I'm looking at the leaves I'm looking at the butterflies I'm looking at the stag on the top there to see if there's any differences sometimes they're extremely subtle and sometimes they are quite obvious so I'm looking at for example around these mushrooms here and I'm not seeing any difference there same as the ones here and then these no that's fine so looking at these butterflies they don't seem to be different these are the same oh that, that's actually a different color so that one and that one was a different color so we found three of the differences there so let's just rotate it around you would generally think that actually some differences like they wouldn't be right next to each other and that is often the case there's another one there so that is different in terms of its height so yeah, there we go we found four out of the five so I'm actually doing a lot better than I would normally have done so I'm um, rotating around looking at say like the lily pads here and these leaves and we've already found that one there and job done okay I did not expect to complete that map in that time that quickly <laughs> yeah that is the first time I have completed that fully because as you saw earlier it was only on a two star so that's pretty good I'm happy with that one let's go and try this one out next and we'll load in I haven't really mentioned the soundtrack of the music which is quite limited but it does inform the map so we've got like some bird calls here which is uh, quite nice so immediately I'm looking at these uh, totem poles and thinking are there gonna be any differences there well naturally we expect that but then has that been thought of uh, no because well th there is one there that leaf is uh, different on the side there so there you are but you know it could be any of these little embellishments like the eyes on the pole there anything like that so I'm just gonna rotate these around and checking out the different 
people here and seeing that's different. Yep, that's fine. So I in I thought that there's going to be two uh, ones there. Oh, and that barrel's moved. Is that right? Is that barrel different? I thought that barrel is different. Uh, it is. That barrel is different. So why can't I click on that? No, it's not. That person's different. I was thinking the barrels move, but no, that person's actually in a different position. Okay. It caught me off guard a little bit. Fine. Um, there might be some really big obvious ones, like one of the, one of these uh, has been, like, is a completely different colour or shape. <laughs> or it could be something simple as there have only been three apples in a, in the bucket than the, instead of, like, four or something like that. I'm looking at the axe here. I'm looking at, um... The mushrooms in this bow. There's an axe up there. Some fallen trees. Um, barrel at the top. I found that rotating too much doesn't really help. Um, I'm looking at the now stripes on the top of these here. I'm not seeing any difference. They've both got these two have got fire coming out. The other ones haven't. Is there another obvious one? Um, we've got the torches. Let's zoom in a little bit and see if there's anything major there. I'm just looking right at the bottom now with where the logs are. And we've got these two torches. They're fine. That's full. They haven't changed size or shape or colour as far as I can tell. That bucket's the same. This person seems to be in the same place. Um, I'll just have to go through the these poles again so that's the same color and shape same as that one and that one those leaves in the right thing yeah that's fine over here we've got that one those seem to be about the right about that seem to be correct because it was I was clicking on that bit rather than that has it just scaled yeah okay um I don't know if the I assume they're building this by the look of it the scene itself looks like they're assembling it so we've got one more difference to be found one more difference to be found, and I, I would have thought it would have been on this. No. I'm looking at like the embellishments at the top here, because it could just be a slight change in colour. Mm. Don't really want to close the map without. Without finding that last difference, what I would what I would like is for this found the four five to be hidden, um, or have the ability to hide it, because you can see it, it obscures things like that. Then you then have to rotate around, which is not a huge thing, but would be nice to have that option. Is that leaf different? No. Again, my eyes are drawn there because I know that 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 person's moved, so it looks like a lot of it's different, but actually, in reality, it's just that. That person's uh, further forward. Um, we'll have a quick zoom in. I wonder how far we can actually zoom in. That's our maximum zoom level there. So these are in the same place. Obviously that's across there. Yes, that's all the same. Those are the same. Rotate back to here. And it's quite good that it keeps the same perspective on both sides. And just checking out this column. No, not nothing there, I don't think. There's no change in colour or size. There isn't like a different bit there, no. And I've already found the difference on this column. Doesn't mean to say that there aren't others though. Ah, there it is there. Yeah, the colour on the bottom. See, I was just assuming, obviously wrongly, that that column uh was the, it didn't have any differences uh and this is this is the same map why is it put us on this map we have already completed this map have we not we have already completed that so why is it loaded us into that one yeah, it, it put us into that one for some reason. I might have gone backwards uh, through these instead. Um, yeah, so um, either way, it loaded that one. So we've got 35 stars. If we press uh, our map button on the top left, you can see that we have 35 out of 50. And we can unlock that at 25, unlock that at 25. Oh, they're all 25. So let's try what we've we got. That's like a snowy area. That's like sort of 
oriental garden, that's spooky, and that's tropical. I'm going to unlock this one because uh, like this, uh, this world seems to be quite snowy and quite good there. So we'll unlock that, and we'll try like the first one of this. So that's like a... I think you do it in any order you want. Let's try... Let's try, say... Oh, there's a train. Excellent. It's a locomotive, actually. Actually, it might be a train. We don't know. It is a train. It is a train. Okay, so spot the differences. This is quite a quite a big map, actually. So I'm checking out the... There's like wolves at the top there. And I'm checking out for colour differences. There's four of each coloured wolf, but that wolf is in a different direction. Okay, good start. Good start. There's some... I'm going to guess reindeer down there. Yeah. Um, looking at the loco itself, we have... Can't see many differences. Well, I can't see any differences at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go to the carriages back here. Looking at the signs. That sign's different. Okay, good. And that window's different. That's good. Three out of five so far. Um... Let's go back over to... Let's go back to this one. Rotate here. Looking down the bottom. That's different. I didn't know which one was different, but I saw a difference there. And you can hear that in the background, like the... the sound of the railway. That's nice. Um... I'm just going to check down the bottom here. We've got some more wolves. Can't see any there. Differences wise, not there. Oh, these trees. They're all the same, I think. I thought the... The engine would have had a difference on it. Maybe it does. But because we can only rotate and zoom in, it's on the fringe there, so maybe... There's a difference, but it's at the more centre around the middle. Hang on, there's a bit up the top here with... There's a lot of wolves. <laughs> there is a lot of wolves. Um, let's just go for up the top here. So we've got three blacked out pieces. Yeah, we've got one. And I'm checking the size. Um, so yes, I'm checking every window individually now. So I'm mousing over here, but actually looking over to the right. Full. That one. There we go. Yep, just uh, taking the time and going through them. Nice. That was a good one. Okay, we'll do one more. Um, and this is... Find the differences. And... Oh, it's on like a snowy... A snowy ground. Okay, this... Oh, don't say I'm going to have to check every individual flag. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that. This looks like a really, really difficult map. I'm going to assume that one of the... One of these cable cars are different. But again, assuming wrongly, perhaps. You know what to say about assumptions. Um... Okay, well, this is difficult. There's one there. So we're looking for flag orientation and s probably not scale. That would be a bit too obvious. But certainly, that person there. Um, flag orientation and colour is what we would be... Oh, that is rotated as well, yeah. So I already I already looked through those and I didn't see any difference, but you know, upon further inspection, uh, we got it there. To be fair, it wasn't really inspection. I was just looking elsewhere and I thought, hang on, is that different? Sometimes you have to stop looking to then see the obvious quote of the day there, very zen. Um, and I can't at the moment see any of the others obviously we're checking out, checking out like the skiers themselves have they got different clothes on have they got like say snowboards rather than a snowboards rather than skis or they're on a sledge etc 
Mm. No. Most people are the same. Stags are the same. My eyes are drawn to like the, the working bits in the middle there. But can't see that. Okay, I'm not going to stress over that too much because, as I said, I didn't want to go ahead and try to complete this one. Uh, how many how many bollards and stuff are there? We've got one, two cones. No, just the one cone. Is there another cone? No. Um, these... Oh, have these moved? Yeah. That's different, is it? There's something different there. Set of skis, yeah. Okay. Four, five... Oh, well, it feels rude not to try and spend a little bit more time trying to find the last difference, and I've already spotted it. There it is. Okay, so actually a bit easier than I thought that one. But then again, all of them have been, to be fair, so that's all right. Either way, that is Tiny Lands. This is what you'll be doing. Um, I imagine it'll be a very good game to... I, I find it, for, for a start, I do find it relaxing. Um, and then equally frustrating when I can't find that last one. Strangely, uh, this is actually the best I've done uh, while playing it, so maybe in the heat of uh, recording <laughs> I'm a bit more a bit more perceptive, but then who knows, I've already found a couple of differences there. Uh, there's three differences so far as I'm going through, so yeah, that's uh, maybe a slight advantage. But anyway, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is what it is. It is spot the difference where you can rotate and scale them up. It, it is, as I said, I find quite a relaxing experience. I do start to get a bit stressed out when I can't find the last one. And uh, not really stressed, but more um, more frustrated uh, with my lack, at, uh, lack of observational uh, skills. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there for now. That has been a bit of Tiny Lands. And also the last of that beverage, shame. Either way, I quite enjoy the game. It's an honest, simple one where you can chill out and relax too. And it's not overly stressful. Not unless, you know, your your patience gets the better of you. And I personally find that my <laughs> lack of perception and observational problem solving tends to be a little bit of an issue. But that's personal rather than the game in itself. Overall, quite enjoy it. And as I said, it's uh, one just to chill out to. I would imagine that playing this with like a, a younger sibling or family member would uh, be quite a good thing, like a couch co-op stuff. I can, I can see that being quite rewarding. I also really like the sort of ambient soundtrack. There's not a lot to it, but just on this map, for example, we've got like the odd pick hammering against the uh, against the ice there. You'll hear that now and again, as well as the wind and the snow. So it adds a little bit more to it. I don't know if uh, a soundtrack would have benefit to it, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Also, I think maybe some sort of hint system would be a nice added touch. So, for example, if you're getting getting sort of problems towards the end, or you haven't found maybe the last couple, or even have hints for all of the all of the differences even if it would be things nebulous like have you checked all of the tools what about uh, a certain corner of the map things like that but it's certainly no way shape or form a deal breaker i just think that for some it may be of some benefit either way hope you have enjoyed the game and what you have seen if you want to uh, see more then by all means let me know and i'm sure you'll let us know if there's been differences that you've spotted before me and uh, <laughs> they'll be in the comments there either way check the link out in the description if you want to uh, have a look at the game yourself hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings And should uh, probably end the video here, because we've done the outro. But am I going to really leave it after not finding the last difference? That's going to annoy a lot of people, and it's annoying me. Where is the last difference? Backpack, there we go. Job done. Alright, take care. Generic parties. <laughs>